Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be going over a Kachin build for Genshin Impact. I made a video a few hours ago, but I wasn't really happy with it. I'm going to go more in depth on on how I'm building Kachin and how I plan to build her. The last video I said I was going to show you what I plan with her, and I did it because I'm not very fucking smart, apparently. But I'm going to go over my build. I'm going to show you all the artifacts I have, what I've been doing, and how powerful she is. And hopefully, I mean, I can get her even more powerful. So first off, let's go over... First things first. Let's go over her... The weapon I use. So the weapon I use is the Lion's Roar. Um, solely because it just gives me that damage bonus of 20% when an enemy is affected by Electro or Pyro. Which is great for her because she has her second ability, or her, I don't know what you call it in this game. I'm calling it her second ability. <laughs> um, where she buffs her sword with lightning. And basically you can have that going all the time. So it's always, for me, it's good to have that 20% extra damage. Um, other swords you can go with, other swords that I'm debating on trying, um, I don't have them. I've been trying the flute, but I don't think it's as good as the uh, Lion's Roar. Or it's good, it's situational. This is good for groups of enemies. Um, it's got that little AoE attack that comes out. But I'm focusing more on what I'm using, so Lion's Roar is where we're going. Um, I do want to try out the Royal... I think it's called the royal sword that you can get in the marketplace um but that'll be down the road um let's go over her artifacts now i just after i posted the last video i was farming some bosses and i was able to get a better set of gladiator uh pieces so for the flower i got hp which you always get it's it's always hp um Actually, I think that's what I had last time, so. But I got attack percent on there. It's always good. You always got to be happy when you get attack percent. Um, because that boosts all damage. Uh, elemental, physical, everything. Um, I do not want physical damage on her just because I have a buff on her so often that it, would be, it wouldn't be as good. So for her, I suggest always trying to roll attack you can't really control it it's just luck so but that's the flower i have for the feather it's always flat attack so you can't really do anything about that um however i do have crit damage and attack percent on here which is great and just more more damage is more damage you know um let's see next piece i have this is just uh not part of the set this is just another one i had it was one of the better ones that has attack percent, uh, some crit damage, energy recharge mastery. So it's pretty good too. It boosts it quite a bit. Um, the Gladiator's Intoxication. This is a piece that I'm eventually going to want to replace because I don't want physical damage on Kachin. I want, like I said before, I want attack damage because physical damage is only affecting when she's not buffed. So yeah, I would definitely like to roll a different intoxication goblet uh, moving on to the crown this is the one I just picked up I got lucky enough to roll attack percent on it um, it's got a few other substats that are pretty good defense energy energy recharge HP uh, I would have liked attack percent on there um, or flat attack or something like that but you know can't have everything um, so yeah that's that's the set I have now and it's pretty good it, Puts her AR with her sword and those artifacts level to where they are. I've got 1477 attack, which is pretty good. It's like 300 more than I just had before, so it's not bad at all. Her constellation, I was lucky enough to roll her again, so I did unlock one of the constellations for her. Thundering Might, you can see the description there. It's just more damage, which I'll take it always. Talents I do I have been working on these um, If you sometimes it's easy to overlook the talents. So go in here see what you what Materials you need to upgrade these and start upgrading them. It's just Straight upgrades all across the board whether it's for your normal attacks your your secondary or your ultimate 
um, you want to get those going, especially if it's your main character, just start leveling those up because it is going to take a while and a lot of farming. Um, let's see, what else do I need to go over? Let's go over her, these stats here. So with Kaching, whenever you ascend her, her base crit damage goes up. Right now, my base crit damage, let me, where did I look that up at? I kind of forgot. <laughs> uh, where's her base crit damage at? I don't remember where to look that up. Um, oh, on her ascension page. So, as you can see here, different characters have different um, bonus stats along with their base stats there. So the fourth bonus stat is going to be different for different characters. Kaching has crit damage. Which kind of implies that you want to build her for crit, for crit rate. The better your crit rate, the more of a chance you have to land that crit damage, obviously. And her crit damage is really, really good. So there's a few different builds you can do. I'm focusing solely on attack damage right now until I get some better crit stuff. Um, some crit rate stuff. Um, there's a few crit rate swords that I want to try and use to see if uh, to see if they work better on her. But for now, the setup I have now, this is the best setup I've found for her at this very moment with what I have. Um, so let's go back into to here. You can see my crit rate is terrible, 5%. I do land crits from time to time, and when I do, they do a lot of damage, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my setup. Um, she is a fantastically fun character. She's mobile. She can get around. Um, with her stiletto, you can you can aim it, you can throw it, and then you can teleport to it. So as you can see, that would be good for traversal. Um, good if you're going to get hit by something. You can throw that out and teleport to it. And uh, it's basically like a super blink dodge. Um, with her ultimate, I don't have it filled right now, but basically it's just a huge AoE of slashes of lightning damage, pure lightning damage. And the last hit is a massive AoE. It does even more, um, more damage to the enemies. I, this is my team setup right now for this cube. I'm about to show you just a little showcase of the damage she can output. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and fight this cube. We'll just do that. And you'll see how powerful she is. Let's try not to get fucked up by this thing. I fought it like 50 times, so I shouldn't <laughs> I shouldn't do too bad, hopefully. But I, I have a her here right now to just to have the fire prop. Oops, switched wrong character. And then her I'll go over combos too. The last hit of her combo I do a charge attack. It Oh shit, let me get hit right there. It does more damage than if you just do the regular attack. And it keeps her stationary. Her her fifth attack on her combo kind of drags you forward and it kind of gets you in weird situations sometimes. But you can see that crit did like 2,000, over 2,000 damage, which is pretty nutty. So, and this, mind you, this is a level 62 Electro Hypostasis, so it's a, it's a high level enemy. But as you can see, it just, Keqing is just shredding this guy. And this is no buffs on either. Obviously, if I put an electro buff, it wouldn't do any damage on her, on the on the cube. But throw the bear out again. And I can throw the ultimate out to avoid getting hit by this. And then we will pop this. I'm gonna have to probably go through him again. Usually, I have her ultimate up so I can just uh, pop it at the end, but. We'll get it this time. But yeah, this this enemy is really easy to fight. I mean, I've fought him like 30 or 40 times now, so I'm pretty used to his moveset. Um, so I don't really have too many issues with it. Sometimes I get hit by his drill attack, which is super annoying because it comes out so damn fast. I don't even know if I want to do this. I'm going to have to wait again. <laughs> Shit. Um, but yeah, with this enemy, just a tip. Have someone that does... Some kind of other elemental damage, preferably fire. Works pretty good on him. Oh shit, I probably could have got the... No. Um, but yeah, if you fight this enemy with all electric, 
uh, heroes, you're going to have a hard time. Because you're, you're never going to be able to take out those, those, uh, those prisms at the end there. So yeah, we'll pop the bear there, right at the end. Hopefully I have enough time. Yeah, should be good. Yeah, it's that simple. Um, I probably don't, I don't I don't have enough resin, so I won't even be able, be able to unlock that. But I just wanted you guys to see the damage that Keqing can put out. It's it's awesome. It it's fun. She's a fun character. Um, I was lucky enough to roll her. Hopefully, you guys can have access to some of these characters. You know, uh, I hope you guys have good luck rolling these characters. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in again. I wanted to do this video a little more in depth than the last one. I, I hope I did. I hope that you guys have a little knowledge about the character. And if there's anything, any input you guys have or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I'll go over every comment. Um, you know, it's always good to have input on these games. Constructive criticism is, is always welcome. So if you guys have any ideas for me, weapons I should use, uh, artifacts, setups I should use, let me know. I'll try it out and make a fucking video on it. So, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. I really hope this was informative. If it was, please hit the sub button. I'd appreciate it. Hit the like thing. You know be awesome. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!